Hey guys, let's talk about arithmetic sequences. So determine if the following are arithmetic sequences. If so, find the common difference. So before we get into it, it's probably a good idea to even understand what is an arithmetic sequence. So a sequence really is just a list of numbers. Now what it's going to do is they're going to have some sort of pattern. So you might see plus 7, plus 8, plus 9, plus 10 in between each one. Something like that, multiplying, whatever. Sequences can have a wide range of patterns. Which makes it an arithmetic sequence is your pattern is you're going to add or subtract the same number. So your pattern, you're going to see adding or subtracting the same number over and over again. So what we want to do is figure out what is the pattern. If the pattern is adding or subtracting the same number every single time, that is what we call a common difference, thus making it an arithmetic sequence. So my top problem, I have 27, 24, 21, 18. Now it might take uh, some messing around with the calculator, subtracting numbers, uh, adding numbers, dividing, multiplying. Try and come up with ways to find the pattern. For some sequences, it takes a little bit of time coming up with the pattern, a little bit of patience. Other times it's a little bit faster. But this one, if I look at going from 27 to 24, we're looking to see if it's arithmetics. So we're looking for that adding or subtracting. To go from 27 to 24, I subtract 3. If I go from 24 to 21, so we're getting smaller, I subtract 3 again. And then 21 to 18, I subtract 3. So notice that we're subtracting 3 every single time. That's what makes this an arithmetic sequence. Because it's an arithmetic sequence, we can identify the common difference. Typically, we call that D, but here we're just going to say it is negative 3. So we're subtracting 3 every single time. That is our common difference. That is our pattern. For the next one here, I go from 2 to 4 to 8 to 14 to 22. So we're looking for an arithmetic sequence, so we're looking for adding or subtracting here. So if I'm going from 2 to 4, I'm getting bigger, so we're adding, and I would be adding 2 there. 2 plus 2 is 4. And then if I look from 4 to 8, I figure out, well, yeah, we're going up there, but we're adding 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 to 14, you're adding 6. 14 to 22, you're adding 8. So we're adding every single time, but the issue is it's not the same number. We're adding 2, then 4, then 6, then 8. So we're adding, but because it's not the same number, it is not arithmetic. Okay, it's because there's no common difference. So, once we know it is an arithmetic sequence, we can find equations. So we're going to find the equation of the following arithmetic sequences, then find the 11th term in the sequence. So what we're going to use in Algebra 1 is we're going to use something familiar. y equals mx plus b. And the pieces we're going to use is we're going to use m to be our pattern, and we're going to use b to be our zeroth Term. So the M is your pattern. This is also your common difference. And the B is our zeroth term. So our pattern, common difference, zeroth term. And we'll talk about that in a second. Once we have this equation, we plug in for M and B, we can actually find certain terms in the, just the sequence. So this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. They want to know what's the 11th term. So if this pattern continues, what would be the 11th term in the sequence? Once we have an equation, I'll show you how you can actually find the 11th term without having to write out all 11 terms. So first thing we should probably do is figure out what is the pattern? What is the common difference in this arithmetic sequence? So if I'm going from 7 to 17, that's plus 10. If I'm going from 17 to 27, that's plus 10. 27 to 37, that is plus 10. 
So our common difference or our pattern is positive 10. So if I'm setting up an equation, we're going to have y equals, instead of m, we want our pattern or common difference, positive 10x. Now I just need to figure out our zeroth term, our b. So what that means is this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. If I want the zeroth term, that means I need to work backwards and find what term happens before the 7. So if I extended my sequence to the left, what term would come before the 7? How we're going to do that is kind of reverse everything. So as I go to the right, I'm adding 10. As I go to the right, I add 10. As I go to the right, I add 10. What if I reverse that? Instead of going to the right, I go left. Let's do the opposite. 37 minus 10 is 27. Minus 10 is 17. Minus 10 is 7. We're going to subtract 10 one more time. 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So that zeroth term is negative 3. So y equals 10x minus 3. That would be my equation. Now, how are we going to use that to figure out our 11th term? The x represents the term number. So like this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. If I want to figure out the 11th term, we're just going to plug an 11 in for x. So we're going to have y equals 10 times 11 minus 3. So 10 times 11, that's 110 minus 3. That's 107. The 11th term in this sequence would be 107 with this equation. One more example and then we'll go. So I have another arithmetic sequence, negative 3, negative 5, negative 7, negative 9. I have to figure out the pattern there. How am I going from negative 3 to negative 5, negative 5 to negative 7, negative 7 to negative 9? If you notice, we have negative numbers here and they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So if we're getting small, we're going to need to subtract. So to go from negative 3 to negative 5, we're going to subtract 2. Negative 5 to negative 7, we subtract 2. Negative 7 to negative 9, we subtract 2. So my equation is going to be y equals negative 2x because we're subtracting here. To find the zeroth term, we've got to work backwards. So if I was subtracting 2, going to the right, going to the left, I'm going to add 2, add 2, add 2, negative 3 plus 2. I get negative 1. So my equation is y equals negative 2x minus 1. And again, I'm going to figure out the 11th term. So I don't want to keep writing out this pattern. I'm going to know right away what's the 11th term. So that means we plug in an 11 in for x. Negative 2 times 11 is negative 22. Negative 22 minus 1 is negative 23. So that would be the 11th term in the sequence. And that was some basics, real, real, real basic arithmetic sequences.